Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com Bringing another time video today. Today, this is a remake of an old video. Um, I did this one a couple years ago, but I've been tying it differently since I tied the previous video. Uh, it's a mealworm, and it's one we fish a lot around here. You know, a lot of bait fishermen like to use it. It's very similar to my waxworm, and actually that's why I changed it. Had a lot of success with the waxworm, the way I was tying it with Kylie's nymph skin. And uh, the waxworm is easy to tie, extremely easy to tie. So I just converted that over into the mealworm and uh, made a better, quicker fly. Uh, if you watch, go back and watch my old mealworm video, I used some Antron yarn and still rub it the same way as I do this one, but the Antron yarn is just a little bit more cantankerous to work with and uh, this Kylie's nymph skin just flows on there real easy so I switched to this if you're um, if you're not a tire you like this video I, I've tied a whole bunch of these for the box at the shop if they're out you know if they're all sold and they're out by the time you see this video just give me a shout uh, whole singers fly shop at gmail.com and I'll tie more up for you but um, this is one, this is the one, the pattern that we actually carry at the shop um, in the boxes over there for sale. So anyways guys, I'm going to quit talking and uh, here you're going to see a picture of the fly, then the material is to tie it before I get into tying it. All right, here you see the fly in the vise. It's a really simple one. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Daiichi 1770. It's a swimming nymph hook. And uh, I like this one over the 1870 because it has a wider hook gap. For lead, I'm using lead wire. This is .015. There's about 20 or so wraps on there. I want to leave about two hooks two eye spaces back and I don't want to go around the bend with it as you see there so however many wraps it takes you to get to there is how many I put on then we're just going to start with some 140 denier cream thread and we're going to lock this lead in place so I'm just going to cover over it from front to back and eventually we're going to make sure we have all of that lead covered up so it doesn't show through now, next thing I'm going to add is some Maxima Chameleon. I'm using an 8-pound test. It's a, it's a good size for the ribbing. I'm using this for the rib of the worm. And I'm just going to tie it on. I like to tie things on the side closest to me because I can see it well there. So I'm just going to tie it on my side. And just roll it back over, cover it up. Now, you can see here I got a little piece of lead coming through that's getting hard to cover so I'm just gonna take that that's just the tip of it I'm gonna take and knock it off with my scissors sometimes it's easier just to knock it off like that than to fight covering it up today doesn't seem like one of those times but there we go I got it knocked off there and then that'll smooth things out a lot better and let me cover it up and not have that lead showing through in the end Next thing I'm going to do, take a piece of Kylie's nymph skin, and you can see here, I cut it at an angle at about a 45 there. So, just going to cut a little notch out of it, and it's going to thin it out. And I like to tie it in about the middle of the hook shank. Get it tied down by that little spot there, and then I'm going to pull on it. As you can see, when you pull on it, it thins it out real well. So, I'm going to thin it out and wrap it back to the bend or wrap it back to where I stopped on the uh, my ribbing and I do like to go a little bit over the bend of the hook as you can see there it just gives it a little bit more lifelike look to it you know it's not straight and stiff it looks natural so now I'm gonna come up here to the front I look it's a longer hook so a lot of times I'll hold it with my finger like this and uh, just wrap it and cover up all this lead and I will build a little bit of body up with it but I do like to keep it thin so once I get all that lead covered up 
with my cream thread because whatever color thread you're going to put on top of it on top of that lead is going to show through under this nymph skin so I'm going to come up here right behind the eye now and I'm going to take and just put a quick little whip finish on here so my thread doesn't fall off whenever I uh, move on to my rotary vise okay now I'm going to hang my thread in my hook keeper or sorry in my bobbin holder there and I'm just going to pull on this now if you don't have a rotary you can wrap this by hand I luckily have a rotary vise and it makes this a lot quicker so I'm going to do it that way so I'm just going to wrap these overlapping them about halfway as you see it just makes a nice ribbed body when you do this and if you do it like halfway it gives you a spot to put the next one and it just makes a nice natural progression up there once I get up to the eye I'm just gonna wrap that down right behind the eye make a couple wraps and then I'm gonna fold this nymph skin back over and tie it down again I like to do that it builds up a nice little even head there and it secures this from unwrapping now I'm going to pull this tight and trim it off by pulling it tight it usually doesn't leave a little tag like it did right there so I'm going to have to go in and snip that give me a second Oops. there we go clean that up there make a nice little wrap here a couple wraps just to clean the head up now I'm going to put another whip finish on here again so I don't lose my thread and I'm going to go back to my rotary vise again and we're going to wrap up the ribbing and to do that I'm going to each one of those ribs that we've created when we wrap the nymph skin we're going to use that as the little trough for this uh, Maxima Chameleon to fall into and we're just going to wrap that right up to the head in a minute catch it with a wrap or two here wrap it into place snip it off and then we're just gonna whip finish okay the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off this head and I only put like one nice whip finish on there to finish the head, if you would look at a real one, you're going to see it has a brown head. So I'm just going to take a brown Sharpie, magic marker, put a nice little brown head on here, and then I'm going to hit it with some solar as bone dry. Just to lock it all in place, hold those thread wraps, and preserve my head. And that is all the two, the revised version of the millworm here. I like this one a lot better because it's very simple to tie. I can hammer them out real quickly. All right, guys. I hope you like that pattern. Like I said, it's a very simple, easy way to tie a mealworm. And it catches fish. You know, I sell a lot of these in the shop, like I said um, earlier in the video there. This is the pattern that we carry in the boxes at the shop reason I switched was because it was a lot easier to tie than using the Antron. The Antron tended to roll around the hook and made an uneven looking body. This makes a nice segmented body just like the actual insect. That's why I really like this Kylie's Nymph Skin. Um, give it a try guys. It's simple. It's a great beginner's fly if you're looking for you know, a fly that you can tie real easily and catch fish on. This is one to tie. So. Give it a try. Any of the materials you need, you can find it on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. And uh, you can also find the actual fly for sale there too. So thanks for watching, guys. If you need anything, if you're interested in a guided fishing trip with me or uh, purchasing any of my flies, any of my videos, you know, I sell any of those flies. I do custom orders a lot. If you want to get, get a hold of me for any of that kind of information or just to ask me a question, it's wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. So feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about anything fly fishing related. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.